book is about describing the different processes that occur along plate boundaries. In the previous lesson, we've already discussed the type of plate boundaries. Now, we are going to discuss the different processes that occur along the plate boundaries. Let's start with the divergent plate boundary. Upon moving of the plates away from each other, gaps are created in volcanoes or forms. Magma goes up and it fills the gap to form a new crust. The illustration shows how this happens. One of the examples of divergent plate boundary is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge which is located along the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. It is part of Mid-Ocean Ridge, the longest mountain range in the world. Next is the Tensional Convergent Plate Boundary. Intentional Convergent Plate Boundary, the friction and rubbing between the plates caused the melting of an oceanic plate which led to earthquake, eruption, and the creation of composite volcanoes. Continental plate sediments become crumbled into fold mountains. One example of tensional convergent boundary is the Nazca Plate and South American Plate. Nazca is forced under South American. The Andes are the fold mountains formed along the west coast of South America. Meanwhile, in compressional convergent plate boundary, what happens is that the moving continental plates are forced to fold up and form mountains. Alps, the highest and most extensive mountain range system, is one of the examples of mountains formed in a compressional convergent plate boundary, where an African and Eurasian plates collided. It lies entirely in Europe, stretching 750 miles. Lastly, we have transform plate boundary. Movement of plates in this boundary can cause an earthquake, where in seismic waves are released from the focus across the epicenter. One of the examples of transform plate boundaries is the San Andreas Fault Line in California, which extends roughly 800 miles. It forms at the tectonic boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. The movement of the plates is horizontal. Here's the summary of the lesson explaining the different processes that occur along plate boundaries. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you.